In this video, we are going to discuss firmware updating your mini camera. You do not need to go to the camera to do this. You can do this through the app or through the website. In this video, we're going to show you how to do it through the app. In this case, we're using an Apple app, but it is the exact same process for Apple as it is for Android. We're super excited for all the new features in the update. We really think it's going to be a game changer for you. This is basically going to turn your old mini cam into a brand new camera without you having to pay for anything. So with all that said, let's get started. The most important thing, your camera will need to be in daily mode. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go to your cameras menu, go to your camera that you want to update, go to your settings wheel to enter the remote control menu. And you can see already this camera, the camera check-in is set to once a day. For some people with newer cameras, your camera check-in may be set to four times daily. That is okay as well. We do not want the camera set to instant or always available. If the camera is set to instant or always available, it could have a problem with the update. Therefore, you're not going to be allowed to update if your camera is set to instant or always available. If your camera is in once a day, you can scroll down here, hit the camera firmware update button, and you'll be presented with this message to give you some information. It says the update may take 48 hours to complete. During this time, you'll be unable to send additional remote control commands. The camera needs to have sufficient battery power and signal for the update to complete properly. After the update, your camera will revert to the default values for all settings. Your camera will continue to send images during the update process. None of your images or data will be affected by the update. Do you wish to proceed? Of course, you would click OK to update this camera. Importantly, if you do not have enough battery power or signal, the update is just going to stop. It's not going to lock up your camera or mess up your camera in any way. And you will lose no images. Your camera is going to continue to operate normally during that 48 hours, except for maybe a few minute period where it downloads the update. After it downloads the update, everything's going to revert to default values. So your delay time, your sensitivity, things like that are going to be the default values. So you'll need to go back in and reset them after the update completes. You would just click OK to proceed. Now, if your camera is not set in daily mode, for instance, this camera here is set to always available. If your camera is set to always available, you're going to be presented with an error message. It looks something like this. Your camera will have to be in daily mode or four times daily check in for the update to happen. Please change your check-in mode using the remote control menu above. You can attempt the firmware update again after the camera confirms this at its next report. So you are going to need to change this always available to once a day and send that command to the camera. After that camera updates, after it sends a daily report to us to let us know that it is in once a day, then you will be able to go ahead and update. So that's usually going to be the next day. And last but not least, for people who have brand new cameras, you may get a slightly different message. Go to your remote control menu, and you see this camera has never sent a daily report. There's a brand new camera. It's never, ever checked in. Because it's never, ever checked in, we can't do an update on it just yet. You can get a message that looks like this. Your camera has not sent a daily report to hunt control yet. This usually happens after 24 to 48 hours of continuous operation. Please wait until the camera checks in. You can update at that time. Now, if you continue to get this message two, three, four days after you set the camera out in the field and turned it on and you're still getting images from the camera, please reach out to us. Let us know at that support at wiseactech.com email or you can give us a call. There are business hours at 225-478-4026. Be on the lookout for other videos talking about the actual firmware features and how to update the firmware via the website should you need to do so.